Hey everybody, welcome back to Coquilla Tea Time. So, the news. Ugh, everything happens so much. Um, once again, this is another week where you don't need me to tell you the news. It has been everywhere. Uh, so, I think I'll just mention that it's getting really cold around here. I, do, I typically don't have the heating on in my office terribly much because... The living room is right next door and it's fairly warm anyway, so the warmth just kind of smooths in, but it's getting chilly. But thankfully we have lots of, like, jumpers and blankets and other things, because I don't want to spend more money than I already am on heating the place. Yeesh. But, anyways, that aside, onto the schedule. On Thursday is an episode of The Lost Hands, as the Inquisitor has some competition in the beard department. And also we have Midnight Souls, 11pm GMT, over at twitch.tv slash lyingabedmon. On Friday, it's an episode of Dungeon Maker as we see how the mob grinder is developing and talk about just how they've evolved over time. On Saturday, it's hopefully Dungeons and Dragon Hats Anima at 9pm GMT over at Twitch.tv slash the Dragon Hat. On Monday, it's an episode of Spring Realms as the spirit folk take on the Grand Archivist in the Archive of Souls Dungeon. On Tuesday, it's an episode of Edmonton as Lion talks about the importance of being childish, even when you're an adult. And we also have York Dwarves Live number 75 at 9pm GMT over at twitch.tv slash lyingabedmon. Lastly for the week, on Wednesday, it is a hopefully a episode of Mating Do as previously planned. The engineers have questions, but can the maid answer them? And on to our questions. So, as always, these are drawn from the comments section of the preceding vlog. If you haven't had anything you want to ask me, Drop down below. Our first question of the week comes from Harvey Chesterfield. What's the first cybernetic limb you'd get? Good question. I always say that if they develop some kind of USB port, that'll be the first thing I'm in line for. But after that, because I, I guess that typically just... That's that's really more of an interface than an actual limb. Um, probably a hand. It depends on how they would actually like get... Uh, individual HUDs going, which might be like replacing your entire eyeballs, but probably hands. They need to be pretty high spec though, because you need a pretty good range of motion and sense. Tac the tactiles of hands is a good thing, but I wouldn't... I would probably be like the one of the first things I got. Uh, I got swapped out for a better model, as it were. Lucas Edwards asks, is Maid Lying's world a Red Maker world, or do people just die normally? It is a Red Maker world. Uh, almost every world in the Lying Verse has Red Makers in one form or another. There's only a handful of only a handful of exceptions. Um, the Maid's world absolutely was a Red Maker world until the um, the situation with the hooligans began, and now people try not to die a lot more. Ryan T asks. What do you think about the movie Rings? I... Mm, I'm happy to see more of the ring going around in media. So seeing a new movie is a good thing, but it clearly follows the chronology and whatnot of the American remake of the ring, which is to say Samara rather than Sadako. So... It could be god-awful, again. Um, I'm cautiously, very, very cautiously optimistic. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And that's it for this week. I'm just going to go sit here and drink some hot tea for a bit more, because I'm still, still, still a, bit, a little bit chilly here. Uh, but otherwise, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll check out you all next time.